Hey everyone, so these are my meditations over the Matrix trailer. I'm going to analyze this as best as I can and offer some insight into what's going on in the trailer. So we start off the Matrix Resurrections trailer with a look at the city that Neo lives in. And the Matrix now looks very idyllic. It almost looks like exactly the same way the Matrix looked in Matrix Revolutions, an idyllic city. Less green tones, much more yellow and golden tones, and I'll get to why that's relevant in a minute. In Neo's therapy session, we get to see the Deja Vu cat, which is going to feature prominently in this film. It's one of the iconic moments in the first Matrix movie. The therapist has a lot of butterflies in his office, symbolizing rebirth. Then we see a couple of flashing images which may reveal some interesting details. We seem to see a man who changes probably into an agent. We see Neo trying to stop a bullet. We literally see the body of Neo with his eyes burnt out and his eyes were burnt out in the Matrix Revolutions at the end. So this is a scene after the Matrix Revolutions takes place. The machines seem to be working on his body to restore it or to repair it. Then we get to see Yahya Abdul Mateen II as Morpheus which he confirmed on his Instagram account, firing his guns and wearing fine jewellery. We see a constant motif throughout this trailer of red and blue. Here we see blue furniture and a red light, signifying the blue pill and the red pill signifying choice. Then we see Neo and Trinity holding hands. And I think what this is trying to say is that together they are powerful, together they can unlock their abilities. And I think it may be through the touch of both of them, through their matrix code, they can unlock their abilities. And we can see when they touch, their hands glow. Then we see a flash similar to the first Matrix movie where Trinity is in the hotel and she's fired upon and she defeats the cops in the room. Then we see a scene of two adjacent tubs where humans are in their chambers acting as a power source for the machines. But this looks different. This doesn't look like they are being used as a power source. This looks like they're just being kept alive. And I believe this is Neo and Trinity facing themselves adjacent. And just the arrangement of these machines seems to be like an acknowledgement that the machines know that they need to be close. Or perhaps the machines respect the both of them and recognize their love. It's being lit by red light. Again, the red pill being the choice to go down the rabbit hole to learn the truth. But then it's it's being underlit by this golden light and I believe the golden light is actually symbolizing the one. Seraph was also a being of golden light or golden code and he was a previous one. Then we see Neo wake up and I actually feel that this is the end of the Matrix Resurrections movie. Neo waking up at the end and of course Neo waking up is a reflection of the first movie where he wakes up and basically the Matrix Resurrections is a rehash or a retelling of the first Matrix movie with all of the previous history in context. So I believe in this scene he will be seeing Trinity waking up on the other side or whatever happens to her. Now just before the therapist clicks his fingers, Thomas Anderson aka Neo can see a vision of himself behind the therapist and you can just see it out of focus. And the ring of the therapist is a square and I feel that the square motif is meant to symbolize a box and you get to see this square in other places in the trailer which I'll touch on. The therapist himself is wearing blue including his glasses which has a blue frame. So the therapist is there to try and make him forget or to believe whatever he wants to believe which is what the blue pill symbolizes. And I believe the wallpaper in the background symbolizes the one, which is the gold squares, but trapped in a square, in a box. Because underneath those squares is a blue background. The blue symbolizing the forgetfulness, the belief of whatever you want to believe. So this seems to be like a version of the Matrix he is trapped in by the machines. So it may not be the actual Matrix at all. It may be something completely different. It may be a version of the Matrix, or it may be some kind of experiment by the machines to figure out perhaps what happened with the previous one. Again the gold and blue tones, gold symbolizing the one, the blue symbolizing the forgetfulness, the yellow duck on top of Neo being the gold color that we've been talking about and again the blue tones in his apartment, 
he meets Trinity in the Simulate Cafe. And this is during the day, but in the previous teaser trailer, he's visiting the Simulate Cafe at night. So it seems that perhaps he goes there more than once to figure out something, perhaps in a kind of loop idea. And the great thing is that Neo and Trinity don't know each other here, so it's kind of like they're refinding themselves and their love. Neo is wearing blue in his apartment, the blue tint and the blue tones of the shot makes it all symbolically forgetfulness and he's even taking blue pills, lots of them. The question is, is he doing this on purpose or is he doing this because he's been told to do it? I get the feeling that he actually wants to forget that he lost Trinity in some way, but I could be wrong. This seems to be the Eye of Neo in the loading program or the construct. In this scene, Neo looks up at the sky and sees a flock of birds, again surrounded by this golden light. But this is reminiscent of the machines in Zion when they are flying around in unison like a flock of birds. And it's either something that is a memory he has, which he would know that that is how the sense Sentinels operate because it may feel familiar to him at least that's how he seems to feel and then we get a scene where Thomas Anderson is in a lift surrounded by that blue light and that gold motif and everyone is glued to their phones and their social media accounts kind of like oblivious in a trance not interacting with each other and it's meant to symbolize the effect of technology and machines on human beings Neo looks up and sees a reflection of himself perhaps signifying as above so below, which means that whatever happens on Earth is reflected in the astral plane. But you can see that Neo seems to be trapped in this square, the same as the therapist's ring. Then something makes Thomas decide not to take the blue pills, because he just drops them. We then see him walk into a noodle restaurant. I used to eat there. Really good noodles. Here he meets a woman reading Alice in Wonderland. And throughout this whole trailer, we hear Jefferson Aeroplane and her track about Alice in Wonderland. And I think it's a very fitting track to use for the trailer symbolically, talking about the difference between this pill and that pill, and a callback to the first Matrix movie with Morpheus, talking about Neo feeling like Alice tumbling, tumbling down, down the rabbit hole. hole. I couldn't identify the edition that this Alice in Wonderland book is, so if you know which edition this is, let me know in the comment section below. But what I can tell you is this chapter is Chapter 2, The Garden of Life Flowers. And in the chapter it reads, The most curious part of the thing was that the trees and the other things around them never changed their places at all, however fast they went. They never seemed to pass anything. I wonder if all the things move along with us, thought poor puzzled Alice, and the Queen seemed to guess her thoughts, for she cried, faster don't try to talk. So perhaps in this scenario between this woman who seems to be the small girl from the Matrix Revolution, Sati, who creates things within the Matrix, and perhaps is doing so currently, she is the Queen in this scenario, and Neo is the Alice of the story. And interestingly, she is wearing spectacles with a red frame, red symbolizing finding out the truth and seeing how deep the rabbit hole goes. Then in this scene behind Thomas, we can see Neo from the first Matrix movie, scenes of his. So this is kind of like a similar scenario with the architect, where he sees previous versions of himself or previous scenes or previous moments in his life played back for him. And when Neo looks in the mirror, he can see what seems to be like the look of Agent Smith because his code was mixed with his when he destroyed him. Not only that, but in the end of the Matrix Revolutions, he was allowed to take over Neo's body and then Neo destroyed him from within. Then we see Morpheus wearing red, offering Neo the red pill. Again, red and blue light being portrayed here, red being the choice that Neo is taking and the backdrop being blue, which is the forgetfulness. We get the obvious callback of the follow the white rabbit to find out the truth. And this is on the character Bugs, and I'm guessing that the name Bugs is supposed to reference a bug in a system, which means something that shouldn't be there, something almost rebellious in the system. Then we see the white light behind a door, similar to how the white light grew in the Matrix Reloaded. This woman standing in the room seems to be like a younger Trinity. And in this scene, 
Neo is looking at Trinity and she's kind of frozen in a trance and he can see her matrix code. In this construct scene we can see that the dojo is surrounded by water and reflection which is what Neo is currently going through and Morpheus is wearing red again symbolizing the red pill. When the dojo is destroyed you can see this golden light which symbolizes the one. And even in the title cards you can see the matrix code and this golden light reflecting from below. Then we get to see scenes of the real world where humans are still being used as energy sources and what seems to be a completely destroyed Zion and we can see a ship flying through it. Again more symbolism of the one with the golden light. In the background we can see a scene from the first Matrix movie when Neo is being consumed by the trace program when he touches the mirror. We can see Bugs wearing some interesting shades. The same shades that Morpheus is wearing in another scene. Are they all the same person or do they stem from the same person? It's unclear. But it's strange that they're wearing the same shades. Then we get to see Thomas Anderson aka Neo fighting someone who was in the Matrix Reloaded. I'm not sure if it's the same character but it seems to be the same actor. Tiger Hu Chen. He has a good working relationship with Keanu Reeves. He's worked with him in John Wick, Parabellum and other projects. There's a mysterious bearded man with long hair in the background. I'm not sure who he is, but I think he'll be an interesting character within the Matrix. A sign behind Morpheus in the scenes reads Deus Machina, which means God Machine. It seems that Trinity is being taken out of the tub which confines her body. A super powerful Trinity here and it seems that one of her iterations or forms is Bugs so I believe that Bugs and Trinity are the same being, the same person because you can see her in these echoes. Then we can see Morpheus here, a younger Morpheus, touching a mirror which seems to look like code with the condensation dripping down it and this scene definitely looks like the first matrix movie with the green tones so this is a previous iteration of the matrix we see a regular occurrence of numbers similar to how it was in the first matrix movie we see the number 155 which is supposedly called an angel number this actually reoccurs several times throughout the matrix resurrections it appears in another scene let me know what you think this number means and symbolizes the way they fall here is very reminiscent of the first opening of the Matrix Revolutions. So this could be the opening scene of the film. Here we see more scenes of Neo and Trinity touching and causing that light and unlocking of power. Here is that number 155 again, reversed. And here all the denizens of the Matrix are trying to catch Neo and Trinity and stop them, perhaps even kill them. And there are so many reminiscent scenes from the first Matrix movie put into the Matrix Resurrections. The scene where the helicopter crashes into the building, the scene where there's water set off in the office, again that rehashing or retelling of the first Matrix film. And then that reminiscent scene of Neo taking that leap of faith, but the first time he took the leap of faith he fell and failed. Perhaps he's going to succeed now with Trinity by his side. We can see the Papa Song symbol in the background which is an easter egg for Cloud Atlas where Somni451 worked at a restaurant called Papa Song with the same symbol. The number on the door that Morpheus kicks open is 773 which could also be another angel number but it's also an easter egg for Sense8. It's actually the character Sunback's prison number. So that's all I have for you guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new videos. And until next time, see you soon.